Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. My name is Greg Sykes, and I have uh, been doing this channel for, shoot, I guess about a couple of years now. Uh, welcome. Um, if you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell when you do. So you will not miss a video release here. Uh, I try to put out videos on a daily basis if possible. Sometimes not, but uh, for the most part I try to. Anyway, uh, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, of course, this little bit of old news you already know. Logan Thomas is uh, back. He was activated uh, earlier this week, which is such great news for the Washington Commanders. Uh, Logan Thomas, as we all know, um, had an ACL tear uh, last season, uh, missed the rest of the season, of course. Um, it's coming back. Um, he actually practiced, according to Rick Snyder, he actually practiced uh, this week, which was very good in seven on seven drills. Um, of course, you're not going to see him in a game uh, this weekend against the Ravens. Um, I don't know you're going to see him opening week either. I think they're going to probably ease Logan Thomas in a little bit. Um, I, I would probably say maybe he suits up week two or three, uh, but I, I don't think you're going to really see him week one. Um, I am interested to see about Cole Turner because he has been out, you know, of course we drafted him. Uh, he he is, looks to be one of a, a surprise picks for us as far as uh, a tight end. And, you know, I, I'm I really, I'm excited to see how he's going to be. We haven't got to really see him in preseason. And so um, I want to see how he's going to be. Um, you know, we still have John Bates. Uh, we drafted John Bates last year. Um, so we got some depth there at the tight end position. And, of course, we picked up... Um, some guys this this year as well so uh, we got some depth we're, we're fine there but you know um i really want to see what cole turner can do um i'm glad to see him hopefully maybe he makes it back um i don't know if he's going to play in, you know against the ravens i've heard nothing uh so I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll be able to report on, report on that, uh, tomorrow. Uh, maybe you'll, you'll see some of the other, uh, well-seasoned, uh, YouTubers reporting on that as well. Uh, but overall with Logan Thomas, uh, he is a, uh, certainly he's a big addition. And I think, you know, knowing that Carson Wentz really favored the tight ends during preseason so far, we really need to make sure that our tight ends are healthy uh, because they are definitely a very valuable target for, for Wentz. Um, and having those targets like that, especially when you start getting into uh, the red zone right there in the goal line as well, having someone like Logan Thomas and, and they're likely they're going to throw in Cam Sims there as well, who is a big target. Um, I can definitely see some plays like that where you put in Cam Cam Sims, your taller wide receivers. You got Logan Thomas in there, and then Cole Turner. Um, some definitely some creative plays that uh, Scott Turner can come up with uh, for us to score. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, I reported yesterday. Uh, of course, it was old news by the time I reported it. You guys, some of you guys, have made sure that I was letting on that all oh, this was old news. Well, I knew it was, but. Hey, I'm trying to get back into the YouTube game here, so get, you know, cut me some slack, all right? Um, you know, reporting on uh, Chase Young um, going to be out for the first four games at least because of being put on the PUP list. Of course, Tyler Larson as well. Uh, by the way, somebody else was like, "You should let me know. You should let us know what position that these guys play." Well, okay, if you are a fan of the team, you should know that Tyler Larson is. Um, on the offensive line. So, Tyler Larson, offensive line, sorry. Um, he's going to be out um, for the first four um, uh, the first four games as well. Um, so, 
Chase Young probably going to be eased in, so I wouldn't necessarily be looking for him in that fifth game. Maybe maybe he does come back in the fifth game. Maybe it's not until the sixth game. Maybe it's not until halfway through the season. Don't know. Uh, but I think you're going to ease him in. You don't want to just be like, okay, your four games are up. You're going back in there full time. That's not how it's going to work with um yeah, that's not how you're going to put Chase Young back in there. You're going to ease him in. He's your star, and no, he is not. He is not a uh, a flash in a pan. I'm saying this right now, so you know if it comes down to I'm wrong on this, then you can always go back to this video and comment in another year or two and say how wrong I was. But um, he's going to be superstar for us, and because he's going to be superstar for us then you got to treat his injury with kid gloves. You can't just, you know, this was a serious injury for him. So we want to make sure that he comes back 110%. And so that may mean that you don't see Chase Young until week eight, possibly. Uh, but anyway, it's so great to see Logan Thomas back. Um, you know, on top of all of this, speaking of starters, we're going to see the starters play in the final preseason game. You almost never see that in a preseason game. But I think our starters need it, you know, because quite frankly, after looking at what Kansas City's starters did, and I know that Kansas City is right now a lot years ahead of this team, you know, you, you realize how far you've got to go. And... Quite frankly, while I I was impressed in some spots with our team, you know, in the years past, our offense in preseason has looked downright putrid. Uh, at least this year, I felt that our offense in preseason looked pretty good. They would move the football, you know, they'd make some good plays. They'd be able to run the football. Um, you could get, you know, some nice passes to, to the receivers. Uh, couldn't always score, though. Um, and so that's, that's been the crux. And, and I think that we need to see a good outing for the starters. They need to have something they can build on because people, while yes, you do a lot of vanilla stuff in preseason and while you can't put a lot of stock in the things you see in preseason, preseason is very important and you need something to build on because I have seen it. Uh, with our own team, I've seen it with other teams as well, that when whenever they have a poor preseason, it lingers on. It's like a hangover. It, it lingers on into the regular season. And sometimes it takes a while for that team to kind of get over it. And so I think for Ron Rivera, he sees this, and he knows how important year three is for himself, his job security, for this team. And to take that next step, he he is bound and determined that this team is going to take this next leap ahead. And so they have to. So he's putting the starters in. Now, for how long? Don't know. Maybe, hopefully, the starters, the offense will, you know, go down the field the first, uh, you know, uh, the first drive, score. Be, be nice for them to score a touchdown. If they can, then they got the rest of the day off. Defense has looked horrible. Uh, for the most part. I mean, you've you've seen some individual great plays. Overall, I have not been impressed by the defense at all. So I'm very worried about the defense, honestly. Um, and, and and I think you'll see how much Chase Young had, has been missed, honestly. Uh, so once he comes back, and he comes back and he's... And even then, it's probably going to take him the rest of the year before he really gets back to his true form. So you may not really see how good Chase Young really is until 23. And that's just, that's just, uh, at, that's how it is. And so, you know, I'll wrap up this video by saying that I, I just, uh, you know, we're going to see the regular, the, the starters and this last um, preseason. Don't want, we won't see Logan Thomas, but the season's upon us, folks. Let's get excited. Let me know in the comment section sections what you think. I need more coffee because otherwise I can't really talk this morning. And um, yeah, support this channel, and I'll show you how. That seemed to 